Huzzah! And welcome to Blue Dragon Crafts. Well, I bet it's hot wherever you are. I know it's really hot here. I live in the Central Valley of California and basically, except for the desert, one of the hottest places in California. Um, I think we'll be about 104 today and about 109 by the time Sunday comes around and we peak. But I know, at least for us, every place is air-conditioned. Every store, every restaurant, every building. So you just, you don't go out that much. It does cool down somewhat. We get down into the, at the highest, like the low 70s in the morning, usually in the mid-60s or so, even in the summer. So it's hot, but for those of you where you're not used to the heat and it's humid and you don't have air conditioning gosh I hope you stay cool stay hydrated um, work on something light maybe piecework you know little squares yeah save those blankets for the fall and the winter anyway I have a new hat to show you all and that's because we have started a new D&D &D campaign so I don't know, most people are at least familiar with D&D, it's Dungeons and Dragons, it's a role-playing game. Um, we haven't been able to play as a family since everyone's moved away, but we just recently started back up. The family's scattered, but we're playing online. So this has been lots of fun. And um, I have to be honest, I normally play a cleric or a paladin. I like those righteous avenger characters, but I decided to play something different this time. So, this is my character hat. And I am, you can see her picture there, my son drew this for me. I am Balsam Goodwind, Good Harvest. And she is a Struid from the Circle of Spores, which is not official d and canon yet, but it was part of their Unearthed Arcana. And it does still need a few tweaks, but it's been really fun. She was kind of cursed. I won't go into her super elaborate backstory because, you know, that's the funnest thing about making a new character is creating their backstory for them. But anyway, she basically has a black thumb, so she can help things decompose. Um, she can help, you know, take out stumps if a farmer has stumps in his field. But she also is a fighter and she can do, uh, you know, use spore weapons. She has mushrooms. Uh, this hat was actually the shell of a fallen comrade, a myconoid, who was a just a NPC, a non-player character in our campaign that died. And so to commemorate this character, um, she took his body as a hat and now has some more powers associated with it. So anyway, that's Balsam. So I've been really f having a lot of fun with that. Um, I actually started DMing also my sister who moved in with us um, and my husband, I bought the D&D Essentials Kit from Target. It's about $27. Um, contains a modified small basic uh, rule book, a DM screen, a set of dice, um, a campaign book, and some character sheets. And so it's called the Dragon of Ice Spire Peak. It's a white dragon that they'll eventually be fighting, and I am DMing that for them. So that's been fun, too. We've only played one session so far, but so I need to make my sister a dice bag. Um, this is mine. I've got to get her to pick out some yarn, and I'll make her a dice bag. Came with one set of dice. Um, you know, once you get into these hobbies, then you start getting more and more and more dice so that you end up with, you know, just bags full. But that's okay. Um, let's see. So when my mom came out here, we drove from Central Valley of California 
and she was in Colorado Springs with my sister while we got every her house sold, got it set up for her here and everything. And my uh, nephew was kind enough. He lives in Colorado Springs also, even though, you know, he's, he's grown. He's 30-some years old, has his own family, but he lives in the same town as my sister. He was kind enough to drive my mom to uh, Cedar Springs, Utah, Copper Springs, Utah. I for, all of a sudden, it's gone out of my head. But anyway... Uh, we kind of met in the middle. It was about a nine-hour drive for both of us. Um, and so I needed to send it. We had a big mix-up at the hotel room. Um, it would just, just, he had actually already paid. And then when I got there, I paid. And then they were like, well, it's already gone through. It's past six o'clock. We can't refund you. And I'm like, well... That doesn't really make a lot of sense. How can I pay, you know, why wasn't I told it was already paid for? So anyway, we did eventually get it all worked out. And I, of course, had intended to pay for my own hotel room. Um, so, and his also. So I actually need to send him a check. But anyway, I thought, got to mail him a check anyway. And um, so I asked, you know, what's your kitchen colors? <coughs> Excuse me. Let me take a drink. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. And his wife, he gives the phone to his wife because, you know, he's a typical guy. Um, like he's never been, that's what she says, well, like he's never been in my kitchen before and doesn't know what color. But anyway, she says gray and white and natural wood. So I thought, well, I will make them some dish towels. So I made a crochet dishcloth, and then I also made a matching scrubby to that. And I really like these. They're not made with the scrubby yarn. It's just the craft cotton. But they're good enough to scrub with. I mean, not, you know, baked on or anything. And they dry up pretty quick because they're not super thick. Um, I use those all the time in my kitchen. You can use it as a pot holder, though I wouldn't use it on something really hot because, once again, it's not super thick. And then I also made, I got this little towel at Target, I think. Um, just cut it in half. Did a running slip stitch or a running stitch on the top and then did a single crochet along that and then folded it in half. You do that all while it's spread out. Just cut it in half, stitch along it, do a single crochet into the stitch. So keep your stitch fairly loose and then fold it. And then on top of those single crochets, do a row of double crochets and just decrease and eventually when you start making these I like to switch to a single crochet and then just you leave a space for the button and then I thought well I will make a pot holder too so bok, 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 this is my little chicken pot holder the eyes don't show up that great because I didn't have any black uh, I had to use navy blue, and I didn't want to go buy a skein of black um, to make two little tiny eyes. But he is double. There's two pieces there. So you could use him more for warmer items or to set a hot pot on or something. But anyway, I think he's cute, and they kind of live out in the country. They have chickens. They have a... Uh, Goats, they have a blind horse that their daughter's madly in love with. Um, so, been working on that. And then I saw some yarn when I was looking for something, and it was just a simple Red Heart Super Saver, and I just fell in love with the yarn. Didn't have any project that I needed it for, so I said, well, I'm just going to get it. I just really love this yarn. It was called Artist Print. And I guess it's been around a while. I had just never noticed it before. And I just thought it was 
gorgeous. So I said, well, okay, I'll just make a yarn bag. So I crochet just a big solid granny, two of them, and crocheted those together. Um, I used two skeins. This is what I had left over. And then I lined it. I thought this was a fun print. I didn't put a pocket or anything in this one. Um, and then I got it Hobby Lobby. They had on clearance some ribbons and this was part of that. And this is like a leather. Um, I'm sure it's plastic, but it's made to resemble leather, but it doesn't stretch as much. And so I actually really like that for the strap because I do have a problem with some of my bags with the crochet straps stretching. So I've been looking for something as an alternative. So I really did like that. Um, another thing, I had made this purse for myself and I use it a lot, a long time ago. And my uh, daughter-in-law happened to be down and she saw and she said, oh, I want one, but I want bigger and more colorful because she said, I'm trying to branch out. She's, uh, you know, blacks, grays, if she's really feeling adventurous, silver, you know, so, um, so I said, okay, you know, um, actually I wasn't home at the time when she came, but she told me this, um, on the phone. And so I made one for her. This is bigger. She likes big pouches, purses, um, and I made this, let me grab the yarn here. With the Lion Brand Ferris wheel. And this one's Buttercup. So I use the Buttercup primarily. Um, but I also had another color, this green ones, or the imaginary garden color of the Ferris wheel, and I don't have another one of those. I used the entire skein. Um, I did make crochet straps on this one. Hopefully they'll not stretch out too horribly. Um, I got, it says, we're all mad here. Um, Put a little ones on the other side. Believe and be positive. Oh, I'm sorry. Never give up and be positive. Um, and I did line this one. And she's a cat lady just like me. So it says, you've got to be kitten me. And I thought that was perfect for her. So I need to send this off today. So I'm going to do that. Uh, send off, got to go to the post office, send off the things for my nephew, send off this to my daughter-in-law. Um, so that's about what I've been working on. Um, I did go to Michael's. Um, I don't think I ended up buying any yarn, but I did buy. And this made me so happy, so thrilled when I saw it. A dragon skeleton. So last year at Target, and this was in their Halloween things, I got this dragon skull, and it lights up. Well. Anyway, it does light up. Nothing exciting. Doesn't make noise. Doesn't really it just kind of lights up but I thought that was cool so I found this one this year and that was at Michael's so of course it was 14 I'm sorry 15 I used my coupon of course so it was like nine dollars but I just had to have this guy okay so my uh, phone decided that that was enough but there was one other thing I wanted to talk about and that was my magic circles. I am just dying. My magic circles have failed me. Um, I used a magic circle. I stitched over my tails. 
and then I go back and weave those tails in and yet they're coming out so I'm gonna have to take um, some yarn or crochet thread and go back and reinforce all the circles on my pillows um, and I have two pillows made with um, the little granny squares so that's I mean it's not that big a deal it's just I, I'm very disappointed and now I'm worried because there are some other projects I've made using magic circles to start granny squares and I'm worried that they are also going to have issues so I don't know if anyone's ever had that issue with their magic circles I wasn't expecting it um, but I think in the future I'll go back to just you know using a chain in the middle so anyway that's been my crochet life and my crafty life um, just a little bit of crochet a little bit of sewing to line some bags um, did a little bit of shopping and like I said trying to stay cool and I hope you are staying cool too um, find those joys in life you know that that dragon skeleton that just tickles your fancy um, you don't have to buy them just just seeing them um, there's a lot of really neat things out there and I imagine you know I want to be around 20 years from now to see what cool things they're coming up with then so stay crafty stay positive find your joy huzzah